Hi, I'm Daniel Rowland, presenter for Group 3. We decided to do icons and the Russian Orthodox Church. What are icons? They are, according to the Orthodox Church, a sacred image, a window into heaven. Icons are symbolic, and they depict silence and are primarily aiding of worship. Russian icons are mostly common paintings on wood, but are mostly small. Icons are not painted for the use of imagination, but instead are painted using the prescribed regimen and style that's been passed down from the centuries. They were first created in the Russian conversion to Orthodox Christianity in 988 AD, and they were created to inspire people to worship. What is the Russian Orthodox? Well, it is also known as the Moscow Patriarchate, and is one of the hierarchical Christian churches in Eastern Orthodox Christianity. It is the largest autocephalous in Eastern Orthodoxy in the world, and in 988 AD it was created. Before that, in 957, Olga was baptized in Constantinople. This act was followed by the Christian community being created and established themselves as the Russian Orthodox Church in 988 by Vladimir of Kiev. Under Vladimir's successors and until 1448, the Russian church was headed by the metropolitans of Kiev and formed a metropolitanate of the Byzantine Patriarchate. Apostle Andrew was the first of the apostles to follow Christ and later brought his brother Apostle Peter to Christ. Andrew traveled to different cities preaching and returned Byzantine the future Constantinople, and founded the Church of Christ. The name of the Holy Apostle Andrew links the mother, the Church of Constantinople, with her daughter, the Russian Orthodox Church. In Kiev, he planted a cross on top of a field and prophesied a bright Christian future for the Russian people. Kiev then became a Christian city. Kievan Rus was the first Slavic state. It was founded in 879 by the Viking Oleg. They developed a complex political system and flourished until the 13th century. In 911, he arranged trade agreements with Constantinople. Vladimir's region heralded the beginning of the Golden Age in Kievan Rus. In 988, Vladimir then adopted orthodoxy for Russia. In 1223, an army from Kievan Rus, together with a first force from the Turkish Polovistians, faced a Mongol raiding party at the Kalka River. In 1240, the Mongols sacked the city of Kiev and then moved west into Poland and Hungary. The city of Kiev never recovered from the attack, and the Republic Novgorod continued to prosper as well as the city of Moscow under the Mongols. The icons are a mixture of Greco-Roman and Syrian art forms. Icons hold a mystical connection between the saint depicted and the viewer, therefore making the icon a sacred vessel instead of a physical form to be idolized. Russian iconographers became noted for their use of more subdued colors, elongated figure, and more humanistic qualities. Icons are used to teach the faithful of God. In America, the Orthodox churches, though sharing the same faith and teachings, are known as the Greek, Russian, Serbian, etc., Orthodox churches. Communities of Orthodox immigrants from Greece, Russia, and the Middle East settled in the United States, and they requested from the Orthodox Church, their respected homelands, to send priests and bishops in order to serve the spiritual and cultural needs of the various Orthodox peoples. There are very few states in the United States that practice Russian Orthodoxy, but they and Christians celebrate and recognize Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. Takeaways Apostle Andrew founded the Russian Orthodox Church. Kievan Rus was the first Christian city. United States Russian Orthodox churches must be resisting churches and cannot commend any other churches.